Hi, my name is Dr. Corey Hartman. I'm one of the neurosurgeons at Orlando Neurosurgery, and I'm here to talk to you today about a common overlooked problem uh, causing low back pain, and that is the sacroiliac joint. The sacroiliac joint is located between the sacrum and the ilium, which is part of the pelvis. It helps connect the spine down to the pelvis. The sacroiliac joint is normally stabilized by several ligaments, and it provides a small amount of rotation and translation from the spine down to the pelvis. Pain in the sacroiliac joint may be caused by degenerative disease, such as more like an arthritis versus a trauma, in the, even in the postpartum female. The most common complaints of people suffering from sacroiliitis or sacroiliac joint dysfunction are low back pain. Sometimes that pain may radiate down into the buttock or gluteal region. It can also mimic leg pain and radiculopathy. Uh, patients may have trouble sleeping, which can highly affect their quality of life and function. My name is Walt. I had both of my SI joints fused. First fusion was November 2019. I had the second one done December 2019. My pain on uh, my back started when about a year before. Walking up the stairs, uh, all of a sudden I felt pain in my back and I could not move or go any further up the stairs. I, uh, my pain um, was so bad that it affected my life in regards to sleeping, uh, sitting down eating. I couldn't even sit down and eat uh, a five or 10 minute meal without uh, my pain getting worse and could not hardly get up out of the chair afterwards. Sleeping with the pressure on my back, I could not get comfortable. Walking, uh, any type of activities. So there are many causes of low back pain and it's very important to diagnose it correctly. Sacral iliac dysfunction, the importance are the history, the physical exam with provocative maneuvers, as well as uh, therapeutic and diagnostic injections to prove that the SI joint is the cause of the pain. At that point, Dr. Hartman thought it would be the SI joints and before considering surgery, he sent me to have some injections in the SI joints. For patients with chronic debilitating low back pain who meet criteria for SI dysfunction, after an adequate trial of conservative therapy, if patients are still having pain, they may be a candidate for minimally invasive sacroiliac fusion. I use SI bone I fuse for, to perform my sacroiliac fusions. I use this product because of the results. Uh, the triangular shape helps to stabilize the joint biomechanically. The 3D printed titanium helps bony ingrowth and fuse the joint. Typically, the minimally invasive SI fusion consists of a procedure that takes less than one hour through a small incision less than three centimeters long. Patients go home the same day and follow up as an outpatient. After the surgery, uh, it was approximately Three to four weeks, I felt a lot better. Uh, the pain was gone. Uh, I went back with Dr. Hartman to ask him about doing the second side. He went ahead and did the second side uh, because the first side was so well after the surgery. In the initial clinical studies of SI fusion, 73% of patients had significant pain relief at one year. More recent studies show 90% of patients are satisfied with their surgery and would undergo the procedure again. So we got back to playing golf. Uh, hiking, biking, uh, hunting, fishing, uh, doing the things I could do normally. Being able to sit for hours at a time now, when I used to not only be able to sit for five minutes or whatever, but uh, it's, it's like nothing ever happened with my back. I've dealt with back issues for a long time and when it got down to the SI joints and this last procedure uh, took care of everything and I've got back to a normal life again. In conclusion, sacroiliac dysfunction is a very common cause of low back pain. If you have low back pain and think it may be due to SI dysfunction or would like to get evaluated, we'd be happy to see you at Orlando Neurosurgery.